No matter how educated you are, if you haven't traveled very much, you're retarded. It doesn't really always include culture, but I guess culture is like the easiest thing to think of. Um, just how like maybe a popular idea might spread to uh, different countries, you know, all across the world. Um, they just see like one common idea, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I would think globalization would just be maybe like all uh, countries kind of becoming involved within maybe consumer markets and just. Um, maybe one people's culture moving over, taking another's culture, just the blend of cultures. What happens in other societies like affect other societies? And just kind of everything kind of interconnects and intertwines and merges in a sense. Almost like America, I guess, with different cultures combined, melting pot, that sort of thing. student organization which is uh, the home for all the different country organizations and um, we have a social hour every Friday at four o'clock which all the different countries come together and socialize in conversation and, uh, it's a real good time to meet other international students trained to remember a lot of things, uh, use mental math. There, there was a lot of emphasis on mental math. Uh, until, my twelfth, until my first year in college, I was not allowed to use a calculator. It's very theoretical, and uh, you get into the practical stuff afterwards, like when you're in university and stuff. And I think in America, even in high schools and in like middle schools, y'all you know, do the practical stuff so it can sink in. And notice my y'all, I've become southernized. The education system in the United States is I would say uh, very, very easy as compared to our country. Uh, well, I grew up in five different countries. So it was Kenya, Nigeria, Zambia, South Africa, and now I live in Antigua. So it's like um, education system, all those countries were all colonized by the British. So um, they enforced more manners into schools. Like school wasn't just to learn stuff like, you know, academic stuff, but it also was it was also there to help you with your, you know, your character and how you presented yourself. So like every time a teacher walked in, you always had to stand up and be like, good morning, mister. Our systems are probably more international based. Uh, like we have American systems, we have international baccalaureate. Uh, I did the British system, I did the IGCSE system. Uh, there's a French system, um, there's Indian system. In India, you have to ask your professor's permission to drink water. You're not allowed to eat inside a classroom. You're not allowed to talk to your neighbor. You're not allowed to distract the instructor. The first time when I was in a classroom, uh, I remember it was uh, an American professor, Dr. Hodel, in electrical engineering. And uh, as always, uh, we were like 10 minutes early to the class. And when the instructor came to, into the class, I was the only guy who stood up. And everybody started looking at me, and I don't realize, and then I ju just sat down immediately.
globalization to me is um, a way in which people get connected through many different means. Internet could be an example like Facebook or YouTube. Globalization is, is to break down those barriers that we've built around ourselves, to make everything more transparent, to make everything more competitive, uh, and help everybody improve. I think globalization effect yeah, it affects uh, education in a good way, honestly, I think, because information is now easily spread across and around, compared like to 50 years ago, you know what I'm saying? So I think globalization really is having a good impact, well, more of a good impact on education than it is a bad impact on education. British system in Kuwait, so okay. I used to speak like this, I used to speak like a British person, <laughs> and I used to ask for a bottle of water, nobody would understand what I was saying, so I had to learn to say, bottle of water. <laughs> I think globalization affects technology. It boosts technology, that's what I think. I think like um, if you're trying to fix something, usually you end up calling someone in another country and thanks to globalization, that's possible. If this was 50 years ago where you, well, there weren't any laptops <laughs> 50 years ago, but like <laughs> if you had to fix something 50 years ago compared to now, I mean, you, you can pretty much fix anything yourself thanks to globalization. We're a small country and we don't produce a lot of technology so we end up using a lot of different technologies. It's like we use Japanese, Chinese, uh, American, British. If you've traveled more then you have a, a, a bigger realm of understanding and, and it's easier for you to, to pick up new things and then take new things and make them better and make them apply to your thing, you know? And I wish I could say You rock. I had you like two semesters ago. I love you. You're awesome.